General Motors say they're struggling to make enough electric cars, struggling to make enough batteries, but you know, I've got a solution for them. I think this would work perfectly. Just ship this as a kit. And in America, you guys could just put this thing together. It's actually pretty simple. Think about it, ship the platform, ship the rest of it just as a kit, and you could sell these cars at an incredibly, probably the cheapest car, cheapest EV in America, and it's pretty good. And it'd be something that General Motors could still make a profit on. I just don't understand why they don't do this. Anyway, General Motors, if you're watching, here's my idea for your next EV. It's, um, well, it's called a Buick in China. And it's very, very cheap. Plus, it's got a, well, basically the battery pack that I think most people would have actually preferred to buy over the so-called Ultium batteries that GM has right now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Buick revealed their new, very, very affordable Velit 6 electric sedan hatch wagon thing. But it's, I don't know, it's a car. It looks good. Very affordable and would sell like crazy. Even at a price of 25,000, add on a 10,000 US dollar bill for just simply putting the things together in America. I mean, that's an idea. General Motors, if you're listening. Anyhow, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, this new EV costs 15,000 US dollars in China. General Motors, make it, or Buick. It has 267 miles of range. That's 430 kilometers. But that range is better than what you'd think because... I mean, yeah, it's a CLTC range. So, okay, real world range might be closer to 400, maybe a bit less than that actually, but you can charge it to 100% because it has a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. So you can charge this, this thing to 100% whenever you want, meaning you're going to get the full use of that entire battery pack. So 15,000 US dollars, it's just, it's an incredible bargain actually. So, what else do we know about this vehicle? How much power does it have? Is it actually any good? The new Buick Velit 6 sedan comes in two options. You can get the Comfort Edition. That starts at 15500 The Premium Edition costs $400 more. Wow. Both models have a single 130 kilowatt or 174 horsepower and 265 newton meter electric motor in the front. I don't know why it's in the front. It'd be better at the rear, but anyhow, it's in the front. It also comes with a 50.3 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack, which I believe is manufactured by CATL. That gives the car 430 kilometers of CLTC range, probably WLTP closer to 390, 267 miles, probably WLTP about 250 miles. But for that price, well, it's amazing. They also have a 30 minute fast charge. Not really. 30 to 80% takes 30 minutes. So charging is actually pretty slow. That's probably the biggest negative about this vehicle. Uh, and the fact that it hasn't been announced yet for North America or for Australia or for Europe or anywhere else yet. Could be though. The differences between the two vehicles, well, there's not much. To pay an extra $400, you get a panoramic sunroof, an electric sunshade, and a camera for reversing. Uh, you can see here, it's definitely worth paying the 400 bucks. Get a reversing camera, sun, electric sunshade, and a panoramic sunroof. I think that's worth $400. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Inside, it has a new layout. And it does, it's simple, it's nice. I think it's incredibly good for the price. In fact, it has a 10 inch LCD instrument panel, a 10 inch high definition touchscreen. It has Goad navigation, speech recognition. Don't know if that'd work very well, but anyway, smartphone mapping and OnStar. You've got to pay, by the way, to use OnStar, but that's the same everywhere. It also has a pure art blue and black inlaid interior design with some pretty decent perforated leather seats. There's a few different colors. You've got Aurora silver, turquoise blue, snowy white, um, and that's it. Just those three. That's one way to keep the price down. How big is it? Well, it's actually a pretty decent size. When you consider the actual practical nature of it being more like a hatch type car, it's actually a very similar sort of shape to the Chevy Bolt EUV, but it's bigger. 
It's 4,673 millimeters long, 1,817 millimeters wide, and 1,519 millimeters tall. In other words, it's actually a similar size to something like a Tesla Model 3. It just looks like it might have a bit more practicality with that lift back. So yeah, you can see why I'm so keen on this car and why I think other people would be as well. Anyhow, this new vehicle joins a range of other EVs that Buick or GM or you know their partners make for them in China. Those include the Velite 7, the E4, and the E5. Buick launched the E4 in June, its second Ultium-based EV in China, only two months after its larger E5 SUV was revealed. The E4 features a longer, more fastback-shaped back end, so a bit more practical, and an extended 2,954mm wheelbase. Its dimensions, I think, are pretty good for most people. This is not a particularly luxurious car. It's not a particularly... Um, amazing car in terms of range, but it's sort of a good entry point. I mean, to be honest, $15,000 or 15,900 with a sunroof, panoramic sunroof, electric sunshade, and of course, a rear view camera. I think that's an amazing deal. Like I said, add $10,000 for the chicken tax and shipping it over to America. And you've got a car that is just so well priced. Why don't you know, why don't just General Motors just ship these things over? just assemble them in the United States. Oh, that's right, that's right, because they don't make lithium ion phosphate battery cells in America. They, in all their brilliant wisdom, decided to have four joint venture battery factories making, um, well, the most recalled battery packs in the world, uh, lithium ternary batteries by LG Energy Solutions. Brilliant, all their eggs in one basket. Anyhow. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this could could work? Could my idea actually work? Is this a strategy you think that General Motors could consider deploying? I think they should. What do you reckon? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.